our our energy. That's what generates our energy in this community, and I think we hope you find them in your community, and we hope that you continue to partner with us to make these dreams come true for this next generation. It's a joy to work in this field. Do you have used uh, some community community empowerment uh, methodology to to get the community people uh, together? Um, I think there are many of us within Extension who are trained in community development. Uh -huh. So we have techniques like um, looking for people like, hey Corey, looking for people like Jason who are going to be um, flashpoints in the community. They're going to know everybody who knows everybody. They're going to have a good Rolodex. They're going to be able to call people. Uh, that's one technique. I think the other technique is to look at what assets there are in the community, not what needs, but what strengths they already have. I think that um, we try to use a lot of cultural issues. Um, Andy Mackey's music and making him an honored person in the community. Um, festivals like shrimp festivals, things to gather people together in a positive way. We've used a lot of that. But there's, I mean, there's a lot of literature about community and economic development. Like if you went to our website, and I invite you to go to it, we're now setting up discussion groups so that people can use technology to trade things in the community, to sell things in the community, to try to find out you know, who's, who's got a mentoring opportunity. Um, these gals are working with the project and all of their calendar events and discussion groups happen through our page. And what that lets people do is to begin to build a larger social network and we think that's a, we think the social capital, mm -hmm. and in rural communities, that's a big part of how things happen is through relationships and social capital, mm -hmm. a lot more than economic contribution. Um, and I think we have we did develop a culture of come to us with your idea, we'll either connect you with somebody or we'll help you in some way, whatever it was. So we're really broad. We're only a phone call away, thanks to international protocol of telephones. You can just call me. <laughs> we can do the Skype. <laughs> yeah, we can do a Skype call. <laughs> well, thank you, Catherine. And yeah. From the, Bill, the office. Thank I think you it's very great much. to mm -hmm. have this day with you and to learn what you're doing. It's yeah. a wonderful. Or it's having a great staff. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. the best in the world. It's a people issue. Yeah, can't it get really it done is. any other way. Mm -hmm. No, it's really a people issue. Hi, I'm Jimmy Wu. I come from Taiwan. Uh, my job is to help my government to recruit volunteer to the, the elementary school to help the elementary school kids to learn computer. And I learned a lot from this trip. WSU gives us a lot of experience, uh, especially community development. We do the same thing, but we do from IT orientation, not community orientation. We will take this idea back. We will uh, do this job from community orientation. We must think the communi uh, community need and uh, what, what they need and what they uh, need most, especially we will use technology to help community to develop to develop uh, what they need. Let the lesson I learned from this trip thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Uh, this trip give a lot. Thank you.